everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today, I'm actually back with another base game build because now that the base game is free, I wanted to do some more builds and I will probably have like a bigger home sometime soon. But uh, the first thing I posted ever since it came free was a starter home, but I thought it would be kind of fun to do another base game tiny house since that's something I really enjoy doing and have a lot of on the channel, but not too many of them are base game. I just really like tiny houses though. Uh, so I wanted to see what I could come up with based on what we currently have in the base game as it has been updated over the years since we got it in 2014. And uh, this is what I came up with. I really hope you will enjoy it. It's just a one bedroom, one bathroom, a tiny house. And I am building on the Creek Cabana lot in or the Creek Cabana lot in Willow Creek. And uh, this is just a 20 by 15. It is not a starter home. I think it's like 30,000 something simoleons. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you'll be able to find all of that information as well as download this build if you like it on the same as for gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So as you can see here, this home went through a few different shapes because I just knew base game tiny house. I wanted to experiment and see what I came up with. That's often how I build. I like to just play around and see what happens. Uh, I find... I feel the most creative that way and I tend to get the results I enjoy the most when I build like that. So that is what I did here today and I did stream this over on Twitch so you might recognize it if you've been joining us over there. If not, I would love to have you join us. I am streaming currently three days a week over on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey. Uh, it's at 6 p.m. Eastern time and it's just really fun to collaborate with y'all and come up with some fun build ideas and uh, make those realities during a stream and you know, interact in real time. So anyway, I am trying to figure out colors here and windows and doors. And I love the windows I put on the side of the house. They look double story because part of them are on the roof. And I also decided to add a carport out here, but I wasn't happy with the door and it, it takes a while for me to figure out what I wanted to do. I'm not sure how quickly it'll come together on the video though, because I did cut out some, but I tried to keep as much as possible since this was a shorter build. Uh, it's just like when I paused the camera and did nothing for long periods of time, I'd cut that kind of stuff out. Uh, I think I actually end up getting rid of the car in the end. I just put it there to be like, this is a carport. But I love the wallpapers I used on the outside of this. This wood paneling, I just think it looks so nice here. It's not one I use very often at all, let alone in base game builds, but I think it's so pretty. And I enjoyed adding this like one tile window above the door. I also used that above the windows on the other side. And it just looks really nice that way. I feel like you can combine windows and make something look a little bit more interesting using move objects and, you know, combining the items like that. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, but just trying to figure out what I want the front porch area to be. It's just like one step up, but I did create that with a platform. So I was trying to paint the side of it uh, with like the platform siding. And then we're just getting a little walkway out to the front of the build over by the sidewalk here. So uh, moving those around to make it spaced out just a tad bit better. These are some rocks that are from the Show Live Edit Objects catalog. Basically, it's a catalog you can access if you enter a few different sheets and it shows you the items that you can't normally buy, but you might see in the world around your game. So they're not on an actual lot. They're just in the surrounding world. So you can see like the trees and stuff in the background. All of those are available in Shalive Edit Objects and they're usually free or very cheap. Uh, they're just not like coded as regular <laughs> objects. So your Sims might walk through them and all of that sort of stuff. But I tend to use them a lot for landscaping because they are so incredibly pretty. And there's so many more objects and options. And so that's where the car is from. That's where a lot of these plants are from. Uh, so I'm going ahead and doing some landscaping now, trying to figure out what would look best here. I wanted to kind of mimic what is on the lot or like on the areas right outside this lot. So I was trying to get some of the same plants and flowers, uh, some of the same bushes, but I also didn't want this space to feel very overgrown. It's a very clean, modern, tiny home. So I didn't want it to be too over the top, but I still wanted it to blend into its environment. So just trying to figure out the balance there and getting a couple of rocks uh, before we head on inside. And of course, some terrain paint as well. That really helps make a home look more realistic. And like it's actually sitting there having dirt under like the sides and the pathway. Uh, I also decided to add a little fence here. This one is also from that same Shalivita Objects catalog, 
meaning your sims will probably walk through it and it's not drawn out like a normal fence, but it does add some personality to the outside of this, so I quite enjoyed that. Uh, and then I should be getting rid of the car soon because I wanted to make sure your sims could walk to the little backyard <laughs> that I did create that you access through the carport, so... I'll be doing that at some point and just playing around with the idea of adding some more fence pieces here and uh, some more grass patches. I guess it does look a little overgrown, but I think it looks alive. I really like that because this is a base game build that doesn't have seasons, but I feel like it looks like maybe it's in the springtime when everything is blooming. So that was the idea there. And I also decided to add some of these flower pots up on uh, the front porch hanging on the wall. I think they're really pretty. I usually put those under windows, but I thought they looked nice here as like a little accent piece. And I put a vent up above them as well. Just trying to get any kind of decorations I can, trying to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then inside it's a very simple floor plan because I needed to fit a bathroom. So I used my classic three by yeah, three by one bathroom. Uh, normally when I do that, I am using packs. And so I will use a specific shower that we have that came with the university expansion pack because your Sims can walk over it. It's like a uh, wet room type of shower. But because I don't have access to that in base game, but I still wanted to use that same size for the bathroom, what I ended up doing was not having a sink in there because right outside the bathroom is the kitchen and there is a sink in the kitchen. So I thought it was fine for gameplay for that. It's also a pretty realistic thing they do in real life with a, a lot of tiny houses uh, to save space. Why would you have two sinks? <laughs> so if you have the space for it, of course, have that. But in there, this particular home, I decided to opt out of a second sink and uh just have a toilet and a shower in the bathroom. But anyway, we're going to figure out the cabinets here in the kitchen. Obviously, we're very limited on base game cabinets. I guess I didn't edit out as many of the pauses as I thought I did. Uh, but I just end up getting these black and white ones here. I really love the windows up above the counters. And then I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit in a living room as well as a bedroom because at this point, I hadn't added on an extra space for a bedroom. I was thinking it was all going to be in one room and try and make it work kind of like studio style, but <laughs> it didn't in the end. So I do end up adding a small three by two room off to the right side of the build that is going to be where the bedroom space is. And I think that worked pretty well. Uh, and it's still a fairly small, tiny home. So hopefully you like that. I do quite a few tiny homes, though, where the bedroom space is out in the main living area as well. Uh, this is just not one of those this time, but I have tons of those on my channel. And if you do like this and you'd like to see some more tiny house builds, uh, I do have so many. That's like the biggest thing I have on my channel. I'm trying to think if I have a playlist of it or not. I'm not sure, but uh, I have a like most popular videos playlist and a lot of those are my tiny homes because I just really enjoy making them. We often call it the squish here on the channel. Uh, because you're squishing everything into a small space and uh, there's some of my favorites to do. So it was really fun to go ahead and build a base game one. I think we're about to add the bedroom because I'm trying to figure out how I can fit a bed in here and it just wasn't going to work out, especially because I wanted to use this particular sofa and I didn't want to put a bed instead of it. So we're just using a single bed over here. You could extend the room a little bit if you wanted to have a double bed instead and have more than one sim. But I decided just to have it this way and I think it worked out nicely. But like I said, you can definitely renovate this build and add more onto it. Or it could just be a small home your Sims live in when they're just getting started. And if you get the tiny living stuff pack, there's actually perks to living in a tiny home. Like you might have increased skill gains or relationship skill or relationship gains. There's all kinds of really cool stuff included with that pack. And of course, some beautiful furniture that is meant for tiny living. Uh, it's, it's my favorite stuff pack, I think. I was very excited about that since this is just a big thing I do on my channel. So if you don't already have the Tiny Living Stuff Pack and that's something you are interested in, I would recommend it. Um, but if you are new to The Sims 4, please let me know. I would love to welcome you to the community. I know we probably have a lot of new players now that the base game is free to play. Uh, so I'd be so interested to know uh, if any of you are new players now that uh, you have access to the game. Uh, and how are you liking it so far? I'm so excited to have so many more uh, simmers among us. And uh, yeah, that just made me think of, I said simmers among us. I'm going to be playing among us with a bunch of other simmers over on Twitch next weekend. 
And I'm also excited and nervous about that because I'm horrible at that game and I always die first. So uh, if you want to watch that, I guess you, you could join us over on Twitch next weekend uh, and throughout the rest of the week as well, because I'm sure I'll be doing some more building on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But anyway, this is that three by one bathroom that I had mentioned before, just a toilet and a shower. I get some sort of decoration in here as well. I think just a painting. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it has everything you would need other than the sink, but that's right outside the door and just got a little rug in there. And then we just have to decorate the bedroom because I placed it down, but I didn't decorate it at all. So we just had a bed in here and I'm going to rotate it around so we could fit like a dresser in here as well. And I believe a rug. Did I use the carpeting in here? Because I don't use that very often. Uh, but I, it looks like I did, which is quite nice. And uh, then just using one of these taller dresser pieces over here. It's like a wardrobe um, and scaling that down so it fits a little bit better. And I think we get like something on the wall as well. It's a very simple bedroom, but I really like how this build overall came out. The living space is my favorite. So I hope you enjoyed this as well. Uh, if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That actually does really help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, we're just in the backyard now, finishing up a couple last details, get some loungers back here, a nice barbecue. Uh, if we didn't already add a trash can, I'm probably going to do that now because I don't see a trash can. Oh yeah, and the roof piece. <laughs> I didn't want to forget to add a roof to that bump out we added for the bedroom. That's kind of important. Uh, but I hopefully will be getting a mailbox and a trash can now. Yeah, I am. I remember to add it. That's, that's good. All right, enjoy the screenshots. Bye. <laughs>